Ivai was beyond just creating the product. It was more of my love for relating with the consumer, right? Um, I had a really great experience once with the competitive um, brand yeah. where I went there and the welcoming, the way that they welcomed me, I felt at home. Like I would literally just go there just to have a conversation with the girl. Um, like the product yes, owner. Yes, but the product yeah. owner, just to have a conversation with her. And she made me realize like, wait, hmm, I love this experience. I want to create this experience. And hence, the, it kind of built um, Irai in a sense. Yeah. I can't say yeah. I copied exactly her model, but we there's some differences there. Mm -hmm. But above and beyond that, it was the customer care and the relationship that was created. So talking to clients and having to solve that problem for them yeah. and being someone who has had experience from my product junkie experience <laughs> with products. Yeah. I know what someone, when someone asks me, um, I want to solve this, my skin is dry, my skin is this, my skin is that. At least there's that experience of formulation. You then say, okay, do this. And the joy that they get from that is what then it's satisfies like me. The one of like the biggest drivers. Yes. Like, That's okay, I love that. Yeah. I, I love that. Um, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but I really uh, do love that um, uh, customer care and the experience, the experience uh, is, 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 is key to you. I will come back to this because I think I have like a question here that like ties back to that and like is, is really interesting. But um, one of the things I got whilst I was researching, watching some of the other interviews you've done and blogs that have been written about you is that um, you didn't go to like uh, tertiary education in terms of like uh, biochemistry and, and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're a social worker in terms of uh, qualification. Yes. Uh, are there skills from that side of um, education mm -hmm. that you feel are now like uh, reflected in the brand? I think it's people relations like being able to manage individuals because yeah. people come to you with different expectations and just knowing how to handle the individual. Well, social work is about the individual and helping them integrate into society. Yeah. So when someone comes to me, they speak, they're coming from a completely different background than I am. They have no True. experience with skincare that the same level that I do. So I need to have that tender care to say, okay, I hear you, we are different, but for you to get to my level of understanding of this particular product that you're looking for, yeah. I need to handle you with pretty much that level of care. So thank God for social work that brought me. Yeah. That. I always love that. I, yeah. I really, I'm always like interested in that because um, sometimes people don't understand like, like all these experiences, uh, for lack of a better term, are like, I'll use the word holistic, like mm -hmm. they add up, yes, like they you've done up. this there, you can use it in like um, your business yes. as an example, right? Yeah. It's culminating, it's, it's not just buzzing a waste at all, yeah. because yeah. it is important for us to understand the society. Um, I understand that some people may get irritated when an individual is asking them too many questions. Yeah. Because they're trying to understand and they don't have your level of understanding. <laughs> and you know, when I, I always, I'm happy when the client is asking me, like bombarding me with questions, because this means they're actually really interested in you're yeah. about to get a sell from that. Yeah. So yeah, that level of patience, thank God for social work. You talked about that back and forth with, with clients, that uh, relationship, that communication. Um, what have you found to be the hardest thing about selling to the Zimbabwean consumers so far? <laughs> the Zimbabwean consumer is very interesting. Yeah. Um, majority of them is, I think self-acceptance is a, is, is, is a journey that has not yet fully morphed in our society. Yeah. Where most women, they come to me wanting bleaching products, right? Something that will alter their physical appearance in terms of complexion. Yeah. And for me, that's it's heartbreaking, really. Because what EVI stands for is self-love. Like, yes, your skin should be beautiful. Yes, your skin, there's, there's different, like, it may not be perfect, but yeah. at least let's get it to healthy, yeah. right? But for us to then wanting to change it completely, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, str like, yeah. I struggle with that one and, and then you try and explain you're like okay our products do not alter your, your complexion 
right? Um, they may help to brighten because some of them exfoliate and it removes the dead skin. Yeah. So it will help to brighten and clear up your skin, but it's not going to change how you look. So it's that self-acceptance that I've struggled with that I find to be challenging for me because my message is accept yourself. Yeah. Let's be healthy with what you look like. Let's be happy with this as is. As is. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting because people are essentially coming to you for something that you don't offer. Yes. And something that you're not interested in pivoting to. In pivoting to, too, yes. But because their mindset is lighter is better. Yeah. 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 So they're hoping <laughs> that you can, you know, provide that. Them, and I'm yeah. saying, no, you're perfect. We're just going to, you know, make it a little bit more... Yeah, let's, clearer. Let's, let's, let's make it more... <laughs> let's let's, make let's it enhance healthier. the beauty yeah. that you already have. Pretty yeah, much, yeah. yeah. So that's my one of the biggest challenges. Another challenge is the quick fix. They want like a, <laughs> you know, they want a miracle. Yeah. Like yeah. now, now you get a like the question that I always laugh at is, so how long does this take to work? You're like, okay. So this one needs to understand consistency. So, <laughs> this is gonna take a yes, bit longer than this you is gonna, Exactly. This is this needs consistency. Skincare is is trial and error. It is literally trial and error. You try, you pick up, you pick up one thing, and you try it. You realize, hmm, maybe this is not for me. Yeah. Until you find your it. Your it's thing. almost like a relationship, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. dating. Yeah. It's trial yeah. and error. You find your own a couple next, of people exactly, and, you're like, and you're like, hmm, not the right fit. <laughs> and sometimes you may have to take a little bit of personality from that, personality from that, and then you make your own individual. You're like when you yeah. finally meet those traits, sifting and sorting, pretty yeah. much. So there's no such yeah, thing as a yeah. miracle quick fix, <laughs> <laughs> which is what I normally get. And then you have to explain, okay. So for on the safer side, what I just say is give it a month. At least it'll give them the patience to say, to, okay, yeah. I'm going to actually try and be consistent with this for a month. They're not applying yeah. something Sunday evening yeah. thinking, and when I go tomorrow, to work tomorrow, my skin is, you oh, me. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Yeah. We can't do that. We can't do that. It's, I think it's not we, practical. We do struggle with that. I'll speak for myself, right? Uh, for me, uh, that happens a lot with, with working out. Like, I always want to see the results. I'm like, where the abs, man? Like, like, I'm dying. <laughs> Wait, what am I dying for? Why am I for? not bulking up? <laughs> like, what's going on? I have that impatience. Yeah. So I can, I, can, I can really relate with some of your customers mm -hmm. there. I would probably be one of those people. <laughs> So when Chat. does it work? I mean, find ah, it two weeks ago. When does it work? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, breathe. It will work. Just give it time. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Yeah. I never try and force a product onto a client. Oh, like, let's keep. No, 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 no. Yeah. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Um, that's why there's always the, the T's and C's. You know, yeah. Where you then indicate that if you've experienced any reaction, stop using yeah. it immediately. Because we have, chemi we have different chemical reactions to things. So it's important for someone to accept which, okay, fine, this is not working for me. Yeah. On to the next one. And that's okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, it, it then seems to me like from what you, what you just said there um, is um, one of the main things that you guys have to do like as a business, as a brand, is actually like educate uh, consumers, yes. right? Um, which is something that kind of kicks my ass sometimes because it's like, uh, we have this like grand vision, I have it in my head, it's so clear to me mm -hmm. uh, what the value of what we are doing as Untold is, mm -hmm. but to someone who's passing by, how do I communicate oh, that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. How have you uh, been doing that so far in like the two and a half years that you guys have been, it's two and a half, right? Yes, Around almost two and a half, yeah, two yeah, and a half. Um, that you've been operational. It's, it's, that one is tricky, um, like what you're saying, that you also yeah. like, it's quite tricky because I have the vision, like, I'm there. Very clear to you. <laughs> uh, it's very clear to me. And, but then to translate that, I would say my social media and then the directing people to then come and I, I offer free consultancy pretty okay. much. So the free consultancy is to then educate one-on-one -on -one with the client before they make, and they, uh, commit, to they commit to the product. Okay. So this is where we then decide, is this for you? Is this not for you? Would this be, is this going to address what you're looking for? Is this not going to address what you're looking for? Should yeah. we? So pretty much that, the social media redirecting to inbox, inbox free consultancy, we talk on a one-on-one. -on -one. But I feel that um, there's more work to be done because mm -hmm. I would love to do that without always being the one constantly 
you know, on the forefront and all my and always taking time yeah. to do this. And I guess it's a matter of branding at the end of the day. And yeah, I mean, with branding, it's always the messaging can always shift as you go. As you grow, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm growing in that area, or pretty much. I'll be honest about that. I hear I hear you. I hear you. And yeah, as someone who's also like a relatively new founder navigating these things, mm -hmm. always interesting to me where it's like, yeah, I. The communicating part is always the there because you always you understand it, yeah. but you also have to like bring people on, on and, and, and make them understand. You know, the interesting thing is yesterday I was having a conversation with my yeah. friend and um, I love my mom, but you know, she, she can be very like, you know, those old school moms yeah. that are like, they believe in jobs, they believe in this, they believe in that. They Ooh, want yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> They want you to go like, to wake up and go to your nine, nine, nine to five. five and to her, this is a hobby pretty much. But then, <laughs> so the struggle, if I'm, if I'm being challenged by my own mother, who I'm finding it difficult to even explain, no, mom, this is the This, is, the this thing. is how high it can <laughs> go. Exactly, this is the work. I know because you see me at home and I'm on my phone, but I'm actually I'm working. working. Um, <laughs> so, I know that. So yeah, beyond the just the consumer <laughs> and understanding the brand, even the people around us, trying yeah. to, for them to understand, but no, this is it. They'll only get it when they see the money flowing, like, yeah. it's, like you know, more money. Of course there is money coming in, but, but of course they yeah. want, like, they're used to like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I 100% I, I know, <laughs> yeah. know what you mean. Yeah, so that communication is it's a challenge on so yeah. many levels. It's beyond the consumer. There's also the family. There's also yeah. the, the support system. One of the really interesting things uh, about your journey is $72. Uh, mm. People have this grand idea that someone will come and fund an idea oh, yeah. that has not been worked on. So, uh, Maria Stat, exactly. That's, yeah, that's start. how, yeah, that's how <laughs> people start. tend to like describe it, right? I mean, capital. <laughs> yeah, I mean, capital. Yeah. But it's like, um, I, w I was watching, watching another interview of yours where you were saying you started a vibe with like, $72. Yeah, <laughs> straight. Like, please explain to me how, because even for me, that's mind blowing because yeah. I started uh, untold with around, like, all the things I had were around like maybe 500 bucks. Yeah. So when I heard that, I was like, okay, this is like next this level. Is <laughs> <laughs> this is next level extreme. Okay. Uh, how did that happen? Okay, I'll be honest. Um, I've always believed in gradual growth. Yeah. I think it's Warren Buffett who talks about accumulative wealth and I also hate debt. <laughs> so if I started off with literally one product and this is one product that was not even formulated in a special way, this was yeah. literally sheer butter which has always been there for centuries yeah. from West Africa, you know what I mean? And we started off with 10 sheer butter bottles, literally 10 sheer butter bottles and I had a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. I had a friend of mine who, at the time, who helped me with just curating like a simple logo. You know, organic shea butter, this, that's it. You, yeah. That's it, like, bah. I go to, and I, given my modeling background, I've got photographer friends. I asked them, can you help me with making this look proper, yeah. right? That became the first social media. So the response to the pictures and the quality was, oh, what is this? Yeah, like and this is those exactly, this and yeah. those ten products, which was what I was selling them for ten dollars a bottle. So ten dollars, that means I'm able to make a hundred or so bucks, yeah. right? And I'm injecting it back, and the profit is like thirty bucks or so. <laughs> I'm injecting yep. that back. <laughs> we, we continue, we continue until, until we then introduce the second uh, product, the third product, the fourth product. Some you've tried on the market, you realize. Mm, it doesn't work for Zimbabwe. We don't have yeah. water, guys. <laughs> so this is not practical. <laughs> yeah. So you, you remove that. <laughs> you, you start pushing the, the you learn. That's, yeah, that you learn that the has been the journey for me is learning what my consumer wants and the easiest and best way to pretty much give them what they need. Simple, straightforward. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's how I was yeah. yeah. saying. Yeah. I, I love that, man. I, yeah. I really do because it speaks to using what's there um, and also just the the truth that sometimes people run away from is uh, we learn by doing mm -hmm. 
we learn by making like terrible episodes where you're like oh man this is terrible this is but it has to go out yeah oh man yeah. I've, I've, i've experienced that <laughs> but yeah. next time now you know like what to look out for and and, and stuff like that have you have you had like some uh, embarrassing mistakes where you're like oh man this was this was really terrible let me think let me think um uh mostly it's to do with the the printing right Ah, like the packaging, the side packaging of and the whatnot. <laughs> so I, I do like a certain standard of class. Yeah. Right? I, I, I like to believe I'm a lady. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, a certain, there's a certain visual like arousal. It, yeah. yeah. I, li- I like people to be visually aroused pretty yeah. much from what they from like the presentation of my product. Yeah. But um, there are moments where I've had to put out things because time and demand, but the labeling. It's not clear. It's not, like, it's not there. It's not up to scratch. It's not there. I remember one of my friends. She, she's in the she's in the states. So I, I had to send a package to her. Um, it was through a friend of hers that was also going that side. Yeah. And then she received it. She hadn't used our mask at the time. Yeah. And then she received the package. And she's like, she sends me a voice note. She's like, turn out. <laughs> Shut. What is this, bro? <laughs> like this can be it. Like I. What is this? This can be like, it. Yo, my guy. You know what? I, I had to send it to you because time your person was gonna go without you getting the product. It had to just show you what it is. Full stop. Yeah. So, like, so we have those moments where people are like, my guy. It is. It is. <laughs> And I suppose it's, it's, it's also different from what they're seeing on social media exactly. as well. Exactly. Like on social so, media, it's like, oh, wow. It's so dressed up and it's all that. It's clear. Yeah, and then yeah. you're getting it and, like, huh. Why is there, like, a discrepancy why is, here? Yeah, yeah. Why is it not clear? Why is this not... You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. that. I'm, yeah. still, I'm still making some of those mistakes because when you get to the printers, you think you've got a... Like, your, your graphic designer sends you work, and then you get to the printers, and it's just not showing. Yeah. Then you try to increase the font, it's just not showing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's that. It's learning as you go. It is. It's it really is. learning That's as you go. That's when you learn, okay, maybe this background does not need this, maybe this needs that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I hear that, I hear that. And so, one of the things that has been interesting to see uh, with your brand over the past Yo, I want to put a timeline on this, but I don't want to put a timeline on this. I'll say over the past month or two mm-hmm. has been um, the way you distribute has been changing. Yes, uh, that's you, is it fair to say you guys were direct to consumer first, where yes. you were like delivering to people and whatnot? Mm-hmm. Uh, and you still are that, mm-hmm. uh, but now you're also uh, getting into shops. You're actually distributing with retailers. Yes. Um, with something like that, um, what's the, the thinking behind it from like a business perspective? Okay. Um, and how has that been going like so far? Okay, from a business perspective, it's more or less just to reduce the overheads, right? Reduce the overheads and also have some form of, what's the word, legitimacy to what you're doing. Okay. So when you are linked to a certain, let's say, a pharmacy, yeah. or retailer there's trust that comes with that because it's saying okay if they can accept it i can also accept yeah. it do you get what i mean <laughs> and the beauty of working with retailers is that it removes yes you you give them a markup so pretty much each product pays for its shelf space yeah. um but then it's not as grand as having rent house okay do you get yeah. what i mean so yeah. in a sense you have removed the the overheads where you're no longer concerned about, um, let's say there's a girl at the shop who's, who's selling on your behalf. Yeah. You're no longer concerned about what are they consuming at that time and how are they using that time. Uh, their general yeah. well-being is no longer in your hands. That means, you know, the yeah. dollar is coming back into back the, business, the business rather than going out in this particular sector. So the last year I moved, um, last year, I was working with a lady that I was sharing shop space with in yeah. the CBD, right? And initially the idea was to target the then consumer that I wanted, which was the lady who says, or even the men, you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be sexist yeah. here, but even the men who says, I don't have a lot of money, but I want something that is effective for my skin. Simple, straightforward, effective, mm-hmm. right? So that was the target at the time when we were in CBD. But then with growth, you realize, hmm, this is not the image that I want. Um, town, you know the house in Buff of Town. Yeah, no matter how yeah. clean you want it to look, 
Um, so much is out of your so control. So much is out of if you control because <laughs> yeah. of the handling and different individuals just coming in and going. Yeah. You can't control that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So it's in a sense it shifted from the image that I was I had hoped. Going for. Yeah. Yes, I had hoped for Yvai. I literally took off my stuff from the from the from shelf, shelf before yeah. I was even guaranteed the pharmacies. I was like, you know what? This is not what I want. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I love the lady that I was working with. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we work with, together on other projects. But for this particular one, I was like, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm leaving mm -hmm. by the end of the month. And I had not even gotten like a guarantee from the pharmacist. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. But I you're was just still like, searching. Still... I was like, mm -mm, this is not it. This, you know what I mean? For this the brand, not, it doesn't work. This is not what I'm trying to, to. This is not what I'm going for visually. And then. Um, Starts the journey with the pharmacist, which was a whole story on its own. <laughs> a whole story on its own. And like I initially, because I, I realized, that, okay, fine, it's okay. The sacrifice for this month or that particular month when I moved is that I may not get as much income as I used as I did. Yeah. But the sacrifice is for me for the brand to look how I want. So it was pretty much like pulling a, a bow and arrow yeah. where you, you kind of go backwards for you to to, to propel, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, um, finally got, luckily I got a friend who introduced me to someone who owns pharmaceuticals yeah. and I showed them the, my, my product and they're like, oh, okay, that's not bad at all. Like, bring it through. Went with that, the, 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 pharma, the, pharma, the head pharmacist saw them. They're like, okay, 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 cool. Let's discuss pricing, let's discuss this, discuss that. Come in and pitch up. Yeah. Awesome. And then I realized, yeah. oh, that's what it takes. So now, <laughs> so now, now it's easy for me to just approach yeah, so it. You know, and just like, be like you're repeating that. This is what I'm offering. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm offering. You like it? They're like, yeah, yeah we like it. Bring it. Like, cool, cool. And so yeah. Expanding just. That's expanding. That like, but like I said initially, I believe in gradual growth. I don't want to be. I've always believed in understanding my my environment, my market. Yeah. Before yeah. I jump into flooding it. Yeah. So right now I'm just working with three, right? And working with three is for me to understand the distribution, the, the new distribution model, model yeah. before I scale it up. Scale it up. But scaling is eventual. I mean, yeah. as soon as I'm comfortable in this space. You've learned what you need to learn. Yes, the sky we, is the limit. We take it. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I yeah, I, I love that. Um, and so I assume, how does it work like with introducing products and um, <clears throat> testing it out? Uh, because mm -hmm. you also talked previously about you put something in and you're like, ah, this is uh, just this is but yeah, it's going on so, uh, <laughs> Something else, you're like, okay, this is brilliant. Like, let's scale that up to 10, right? Mm -hmm. um, what is that? What, what are like some of the indicators in terms of like that? Uh, feeling of the market exactly okay. that's a more concise way of saying it it took me a while but damn <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, feeling hey. of the market <laughs> it's very articulate actually um, the numbers nothing more nothing less the numbers um, the numbers speak the money speaks so you find that um, a product if it moves faster on the shelf depending on the timeline yeah. um, that product is, 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 is definitely doing well and if it's stuck on the shelf, if it does more than like more than two months on the shelf, mm, something is up. This is not it. I've yeah. I've tried. There's this one product I have. I've tried everything. <laughs> Zimbabweans are not flinching. I don't know if I need someone else to be, like, but Zimbabweans are not flinching. This is a body conditioner, right? Yeah. So you know how you have hair conditioner, mm -hmm. right? You can condition your body with with a conditioner, pretty much. It doesn't I think matter. I have something like that, right? But I'm struggling. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm struggling to use it as well. Yeah. So okay. So the and concept. And it's actually a good product. It as well. is. The concept with this product is. Yeah. You wash, or oh, this is my my body the way you, process. Yeah. Yes. Um, how I envision others to use it. To use uh, it. I tend to scrub, scrub, um, wash with my body wash. Yeah. And then condition for that final softness and glow and nourishment. Yeah. So the conditioning doesn't have, doesn't lather like a wash, hence the difference. Um, but you get the, the, you know, the, the nourishing value from it. Okay. So you condition your body pretty much just as if you're applying lotion, but then yeah. you're going to rinse it off. 
Okay. Yeah. And then you rinse it off and your body is softer. Sometimes you can use, if you don't have like major dry, dry skin, you can, you can, you can go about the your lotion. day. Yes. So you can sleep without doing the lotion because you're conditioned. So yeah. But yo. The people are like. I, like I've tried to do giveaways with it. I've tried, I've tried to get influencers to do it, and it's just a. Hey, it's not. It's not. The response up. is not there. But yeah. what people really love, the simple stuff, simple soap, butter, straightforward. Soap, butter, toner, straightforward. Yeah. As long as you simplify it, <laughs> simplify people the process. It. So, so, so do you think that's like a thing of like the market already not using conditioners yes. and it's being like so we have to do even more, more education, education before yeah. this becomes and a thing and it's time consuming you know what I mean it's yeah. not every individual that has the time maybe that I do to, to ah, take yeah, yeah like yeah to like take a, the that it's a whole you, yeah you, it's a whole three explain. step process to just bath yeah. and someone is saying Sha, why should it be what are you yeah. what are you talking yeah. about yeah. what's wrong with just yeah <laughs> just put it all in one this is okay, why I, 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 I bet this is how the all in one stuff came about yeah man it was um, I, I removed the process <laughs> like everything marketed most things marketed to us as guys are like all in one all in like, one because of the time like, damn, they this works on my hair yeah. on my face like, on my budget, guys, 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 guys. I don't see any <laughs> Time is saved because you may not have the time. Yeah. And you guys are more practical than we are. When it We're comes asking to less care. questions exactly. about like, skin just like, and that. No, I mean, like, does it get me clean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Question yeah. 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 and, 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 <laughs> and I suppose <laughs> our skins, and I don't know if this is like a wrong assumption. Our skins, t- it seems to be like they're simpler than your guys. Like. Yeah. I think it's, it's more hormonal, really. Ah, the hormonal okay. balances, yes. We, we have more you know, hormonal woos going on. So you have to be more careful yes, with what, what you apply. Yes, what we put and... on, what you react. Okay. Because the chemicals are completely different. You guys are not as complex as we are. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. And so, um, in terms of uh, maybe the last question I would ask you, right, is uh, because you guys also... Uh, Though we've kind of neglected it, uh, you guys also like uh, offer solutions for men. Yeah. Um, I saw there's a beard oil, mm-hmm. uh, and some of your skin products just apply to men as well, right? They do. It's, they do. It's yeah. really like unisex. It is. Um, with with men, um, what kind of consumer usually picks up like quickly? Because like you said, it's I need a bit more convincing when it comes to skin. Yeah. Like. I, I would I would assume the typical man is thinking he might be a whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, I'll clean up clean this thing. So like yeah. what's that journey like? <laughs> the typical male that buys from me is more on the metrosexual side. Which is she's fine. I love a metrosexual. What man. is metrosexual? A man? metrosexual Put me on, man, man is a man <laughs> is a man who cares about how he looks. Okay. Yes. A man who puts a little more extra attention to how he looks. My brother is metrosexual. He doesn't want to admit it, but I've been telling him since we were kids. <laughs> he is, because he was always like that guy. Super careful. He is always that guy, the, the guy with the products, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's the guy that normally buys from me. He, the guy that loves product and he loves taking care of himself. I think most so for guys, the influence is to smell good and also, yeah, yeah, yeah. smell good, pretty much. Smell good, look clean, look fresh. So with the beard oil, with the beard set, the guy that normally buys that is, I want to look proper, I want to look prim, I want to mm. look clean. That's my consumer. And it has nothing to do with economic background, really. Okay, it's, it's that's more, interesting. Yeah, it has nothing to do with economic background, because if you desire something, you always find, you find a way, a way yeah, to get that. To get so yeah, that's the guy that normally buys from me. 